Salam, salam. This is Unity, and I'm back with another quarantine DIY video. I hope y'all liking these videos. I enjoy doing them for y'all. With the will of the universe, inshallah, it'll help y'all more on y'all art. It help y'all start your earring business. I want the people that's watching these videos to benefit from the DIY. So many designs in me, so. I could come up with so many things in the last video i want to thank y'all because y'all really liked that video i told y'all i was going to show y'all how to make a kari shell hand painted shell on top of that i love flowers i have made a couple of flower designs over the years many so i'm just going to show y'all two designs this design right here is my sunflower lady i'm obsessed with sunflowers i love the way they rise up to the sun which i got this dope design that's coming up like they praising the sun i love that i just think they they're one of my favorite flowers is the sunflower so here you go another one that my unity sunflower right here is one of my hot sellers um thank you all that has purchased it so now we're gonna draw a, it's not a sunflower, but it's going to be a yellow flower with a lot of beautiful colors in it The first thing we're going to do is draw a circle now and I already did the first one of these earrings So for the DIY I'm going to put this nickel here and then we're going to use that for a circle All right So we got that got the found the circle like i say always make sure you prime your wood there's a link in the description box for a good quality primer and if you can't afford it you can use a mod podge or something like that if you can't afford you know if you just start your earring business but always use good quality stuff just like i talked about the wood it's cool to to use like the michael woods that's being a pack the woods that be at walmart the wood that be the Dollar Tree, that wood is all right. It's good to start off with, but you want to find you a good quality wood because to me, those not good quality woods. I can work with anything. I can, you know, I'm a black woman, indigenous woman. I can make anything beautiful, but it's always good to have a real good quality wood, a good quality foundation. This is some of the wood that I get cut, and it's really, really good quality. It's smooth and all that. All right. So, like I say, make sure you prime it, and then we finna get started, okay? I always talk about my curves, y'all, and my use and all that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do curve like that. And then we're going to go to this point, and we're going to go down like that. Just turn it. Curve right like that. Point. Bring it down. Turn it, curve like that, point, bring it down, curve, point, bring it down, curve, point, bring it down, and we got one more, okay. So she look, she's doing her little windmill thing. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just make a curve right here. Make a curve right here. I'm going to make a curve right here. I'm going to make a curve right here. And a curve right here. And then a curve. So you can always go in. Because we, we got a pencil. And just, you know, define your lines and all that. You can do it with paint, too. Next thing is, you, you like I say, like I always say, you can use your bead reamer, a toothpick, a paintbrush. Uh, I have some small paintbrushes in the description box. You can use what you feel to trace so what we're going to do we're going to trace this so i'm gonna speed it up y'all
what I did. I went on and colored these. So just color those black. I sometimes when I be doing these DIYs, I just be going. And then I realize like I'm doing the DIY because you're not working on the order or you're not just creating a new pair. The next thing I'm gonna do is get some black. Black. And we're gonna clean everything up, y'all. You know when you paint it, it's a process. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some yellow paint, and I'm going to paint the little leaves yellow. So I'm going to speed it up, so we're just going to paint all the little leaves yellow. this yellow again I'm gonna give it another coat but the next thing I want to do is get some red paint and just outline right here right around the center outline around there so now I'm going to paint pink here pink here and then we'll put a little green here Salon family, this is Unity. This is a voiceover. I noticed when I'm I'm editing this video now, and I noticed that I had to cut the clip out when I talked about adding the purple. So if you look at the video, you can see the two purples on the sides. Add them along with the pink and the green. So I'm sorry about that, y'all. I must have took the clip out, and y'all keep watching and enjoy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get some gold paint. We're just going to go like right around the edges of the black. We're going to put up a triangle, like a little triangle right there. And then we're just going to trace, we're going to outline with that black in the outer color. And then when we get to the end of that, we're going to make another triangle. I see that so we're gonna go all the way around so y'all could just go around like outline all them and then come back and put the points the next thing we're gonna do y'all is we're gonna get some white paint with some dots right around here Y'all see that? Just put some dots. Now with the gold, make sure that you go around and give it like a second coat. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create the hand painted car shell, which car shell is femininity. Car shell represent money. They use them for divinations. Car shell is a very sacred, sacred shell. They're very spiritual. You make a curve like that. I told you about them curves. Some curves is the, the key to drawing. <laughs> and then you take another curve like this. You can connect them. And then you do like a zigzag. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to do this, you could just put a car shell in the middle of your design. A real car shell. See that right there? If you don't want to paint it. But I think the painted one is cute too. And when it's dry, you can go in with the back and kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm going to take some gold paint and just put some little dots around here.
a green, like a moss green or a hunter green or any color green. And I'm going to put that up in there too. Up in it, up in there. The next step we're going to do is get some yellow paint. And then we're going to go like that around. Maybe y'all can see that. And y'all always can switch the colors up. I'm going to show y'all a couple of pictures of some of the people that did some of the other quarantine designs. Y'all check them out at the top. Thank you all, sisters, doing these quarantine DIY. I'm just let time kind of be so peaceful when you create your art. It's a form of healing. I always say that. I know I have healing hands. So y'all keep sending them, emailing them to them, inboxing me on Facebook and Instagram, y'all pictures. All right. So the next thing, I'm going to take some white, I mean some red. And then we're just going to go like that. And y'all can also use a dotter or a stylus tool. It's called a stylus tool and it's in the description box. They're very reasonable. They come in a pack of different sizes. So y'all can also use that. A two pick, you know. And then the next thing, I'm going to get some white. And then we're just going to put a couple of dots around there like that. So after that, now I'm going to get some gold paint. And then I'm going to put a little slash right between those leaves at the bottom on each side like right there so i always go in later and just define the lines a little better you know once everything dry so now we're going to get some black paint and we're going to put two lines right here we're going to do that And don't worry about if a leaf is bigger than the other. People get so caught up in that. That's the uniqueness about art. They could be sisters. They could be cousins. But sometimes you can't get them almost exactly the same. And then we're going to take this black and just put some slashes on the side like that. And then I want to kind of define this a little Yeah, so make sure y'all go around and define y'all um, those black lines. But yeah. So now I can go down and finish defining all those like that. So now I'm gonna get some white paint and just put a line right here, y'all. And then put a dot right there. See that? So let's go around and do that. And we get some red paint, put some dots around, like right there. So this is mainly done. So you could paint your sides any color you want. So what I did on the other one, I took some black glitter and went around. You can go in and add some glitter, little accent paint. So yes, you could do your back any kind of way. And you can also just make this a, uh, like a pendant for a necklace. You know, you could put this whole design on a big art piece and just have it sitting in your house. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go around and define it. And that's going to be it. I'm going to go around everything. I'm going to clean everything up, and then I'll be back. I'll show y'all when I gloss it and hook these, because this particular thing is going to be a fair earring. Quarantine earrings will not be on Etsy. The space that I have my designs that's called Etsy is not my Etsy shop, because I don't control it. I don't own it, but I'm just sharing my energy in a certain space of that. 
if you see any of these pieces during the quarantine, you're not a crafter, you're not a um you don't want to create it, but you like the design, you can all always email me. You can always send me a message on Instagram, you can send me a message on Facebook, and you can leave a comment and you can get any of these designs that I created. But I want the reason why I did this quarantine thing, the warrior design spirit told me to do it to give these designs for free. And also make sure that y'all able to make a, a, a living off of it. I could still sell these. I have a, another whole website where I could put it, but not Etsy. Because it's so many designs now that's looking so similar over there. And then plus me, I have so much in my head that I can make to go strictly in my shop. I have over 400 designs. I've created thousands and thousands of designs over the last 14 years. It's going to be 15 years soon. So, so I'll be back and I'll show y'all when these when this is a complete salam salam this is unity and i'm here to show y'all the finish earring oh i put some uh, some beads on the link will be in the description box for some beads they came out nice and if you if you look closely by them having that little black glitter and the light hit it it's just a uh, bling bling so i hope y'all enjoyed this video it's a process when you're doing it. When I'm showing y'all these DIYs, y'all just seeing clip down version. You know, you ha I have to let them dry. I go back over them. I make sure I clean up everything. So I hope y'all enjoy these videos. This is the back. This is all I did to the back of the ones that I have. And I'm debating if I want to put this pair on Kano Designs, but I'll let y'all know. But I say, like I tell y'all in all the videos, all these designs will be available from me, but you have to contact me to get them. And probably a, one or two pairs might be over in Kano Designs. So this is the finish. I want to thank you all for your beautiful, beautiful comments. I also want to thank you all for your donations. Wow. Thank you. And if you want to donate, to my channel it goes to art supplies it goes for me doing these diys for y'all y'all can send as low as a dollar to the link across the screen also be in the description box so i really truly thank y'all don't forget to pick up litter in your neighborhood the thing about you know this coronavirus and i'm gonna do a video a whole video about it spirit tell me to hold off and I have a lot to say, so I'm a, I'll am let y'all know when I do it. But we have to make sure we take care of the earth. We have to... The earth is us. So if the immune system is low on the earth, anything can attack it. So if the immune system was high, guess what? Corona would have repelled. So we got to make sure that we take clean up our neighborhoods, pick up trash, or recycle. And also we have to take care of each other. If you can adopt a pet, I know in these times it's hard. You know, a lot of people not working and all that. But if you can't adopt a pet, it don't matter what kind of pet it is. Because the thing what I learned about society, everything needs love. Sometimes you could give people love and they repels it. Because I'm a, I got a video coming up and I'm a, um, I got some things I want to say. If y'all can, go to your local shelter or pet rescue and adopt a pet today or adopt one they're very reasonable when you go adopt one and sometimes you can find pedigrees at the shelters and the rescues it's worth a lot of money and then sometimes you get them for very reasonable so in, in, even if you don't want it donate one to like a family especially in these days and time a lot of children are home it'll give them something to do to learn how to take responsibility so, yeah, I want to say that, and I want to thank you all again. Enjoy loving these, the pictures that I'm receiving. Y'all keep sending them to the link across the screen. And let me show y'all the next design that's coming up this week. She is fire, and this is her. She still has the big gloss, but she is the lock goddess. I won't show y'all how to do this, but I will show y'all how to make her. I am going to do a video to show y'all some um, word. I've been getting that request forever. I'm going to show y'all some 
how to do some word earrings and I'm also creating a beautiful stencil with just words on it and it won't be my original mermaid writing it will be one for y'all to use all right so this is the next one we're doing and she's the lock goddess so y'all stay tuned for her this pair is also going up for a raffle if you would like to get her her value is $45 but if you like to get her if you want to just do the raffle it's five dollars you can see the cash out value forty five dollars so if you win her you just pay five dollars for her she will have sterling silver hooks on her and very positive energy if you want to purchase her you go to knor designs um, a couple of days after the diy is listed i will tell y'all who the winners is with the next diy which i could show y'all the next diy and she's not completely done but this is going to be the next one so i'm, I'm hooking y'all up she's I, I gotta do some defining on her so this is the next one and then i could show y'all the next one and this is the next one after that one so i got i got the diys for y'all and then and all these are not completely done and then this is one of the next ones too then i have um probably we pro I'm probably going to do, I don't know how many more my spirit tell me to, to stop. And then after that, back to, you know, the DIYs. Um, a lot of them will be paid for, but I still will do DIYs on here. So that'll be enough to get y'all started, especially if y'all start an earring business. Make sure you check out Kingdom Designs for your Afrocentric Unity Trace stencils. And there's some DIY videos over there check out the kwanzaa series it's some um, beautiful designs for the seven days of kwanzaa check that out and all right y'all salam salam